Intention by taking a place on the front row alongside Andy Rouse. Will Hoy on the second row alongside Tim Harvey. So Hoy or Cleland, who would be the SO British Touring Car Champion for 1991? And we'll soon know because they're off and Andy Rouse leads. Hoy has gone up alongside Cleland into Cops, the first right-hander. Here they are, Rouse leading. Hoy in second place, John Cleland third. And Andy Middlehurst, Ford Sierra, is up into fourth position. From Cops on to Maggots. Andy Rouse leading. In car with Hoy, second place, Rouse ahead, the leader. Now, Will doesn't need to win for the championship, but he is going for it. Beckett's right, left, right, onto Chapel, then down the hangar straight. We're looking back, that is John Cleland Foxall. Down the hangar straight at 140 miles an hour. Middlehurst is behind him in fourth position. Then it's Tim Harvey in fifth place. Into Stowe, all together. In car with John Cleland, third place, past Hoy to second. John Cleland goes ahead of Will Hoy into second place at Stowe Corner. Middlehurst is still fourth. Tim Harvey is still fifth. In car with Harvey now, fifth position into Vale. Andy Middlehurst ahead in the Ford Sierra. Will Hoy is ahead of him. Cleland is in second place. Rouse is leading. Club Corner, we're with Tim Harvey. Coming up to Andy Middlehurst, it looks to me as though Harvey's going through, and he has done. Tim Harvey goes up into fourth place ahead of Andy Middlehurst, and this is Abby, Rouse leading. Number 22, Jonathan Palmer, he's up with Middlehurst, fifth position, we're with Palmer now. Up to Bridge, the right-hander flat out in fifth, then the left-hander and Priory. Will Hoy. Priory, the left-hander of Brooklyn's. We're looking back now, and this is how close triple winner Will Hoy is to his championship rival, John Cleland. Harvey behind him, Middlehurst, Jonathan Palmer in sixth place. We're with Hoy, third position, Cleland ahead of us, and Andy Rouse in front is starting to clear off. Out of Luffield, up to Woodcote at the end of the lap. And it looks to me as though John Cleland, there he is in the white Vauxhall Cavalier, is holding up the four cars behind him, and certainly Andy Rouse is easing clear. In car with Harvey. Now, I don't know why he's waved his hand. I think that Hoy is content not to mix it with Cleland. Harvey doesn't want to take points from his BMW colleague, Will Hoy. And if that is so, Andy Middlehurst in the White Sierra could benefit because he's behind Tim Harvey. Now, here they come. There's Hoy. And you can see Harvey's roof through Will's screen. Tim Harvey in fourth position in the BMW. There he is, tucked up behind number 11, Will Hoy. We're with Harvey now. And he waves, waving at Will Hoy. And I have the faintest idea why as they go down to Stowe, with Andy Rouse in the lead and these five cars behind him. Cleland, Hoy, and Middlehurst going through into fourth position. Andy Middlehurst goes through into fourth position, takes Harvey, and we're with Harvey now. You see. Middlehurst pulling away now in the veil. It's a superb drive by 28-year-old Andy Middlehurst in the Graham Good Sierra. Tim Harvey, unlucky not to win the last two rounds at Donington and Thruxton, now only in fifth place. Out of club, up to Abbey. And Andy Middlehurst, number 99, there he is, is starting to push Will Hoy. We're looking back at Middlehurst from Hoy's car now, and he's getting closer all the time. Middlehurst's car looks like a turbocharged Cosworth Ford Sierra. It isn't, of course. It's a two-litre atmospheric engine, and Graham Good has done a superb job on it. There he is. Andy Middlehurst getting closer all the time, and that's contact. He's hit Will Hoy. Yes, and Will Hoy doesn't like it. He remembers Palmer pushing him off at Thruxton, and he certainly doesn't want that to happen here. Now, Middlehurst wants third. So does Hoy, who's got it, and Harvey, who is fifth. It's the end of the lap. And Harvey in fifth position closes right up on Middlehurst. In front of us now. Fourth position, Middlehurst. Peter Cops go virtually together now. What a race. Middlehurst away. And that is Tim Sugden's BMW smoking. Something, something wrong with the bat, maybe tires. But anyway, to Maggots now. One third distance, we're in car with Harvey. And we've got a log jam. Who is going to break it? Into Beckett's. From Beckett's to Chapel, then down the hangar straight. 
ahead of us, Andy Middlehurst in the Ford Sierra. Fourth position, on to Stowe. Fellon second, Will Hoy third, Middlehurst fourth. And Middlehurst is ducking inside, Will Hoy, is he going through? Indeed he is. Middlehurst goes up into third position past Will Hoy. I don't think Will's going to be terribly worried. What he's concerned about is staying well up in the points and he is still there. Now looking back from Fellon at Middlehurst. 11 years racing Andy Middlehurst, never better than this. Out of club. Now, can 99 Andy Middlehurst get past John Cleland in second position? We're looking back at Middlehurst from Cleland's car now. Round Abbey at 140 miles an hour. And Will Hoy is not fighting. Fourth place is good enough for him. Into bridge. Middlehurst looking back from Cleland's car. Ferrari to Brooklands, from Brooklands to Luffield, five cars as one. And Harvey and Jonathan Palmer are passing Hoy. Harvey is passed. Jonathan Palmer is passed. Hoy is down to sixth position. We're with Hoy now. He can't afford to sink much lower, especially as close behind him is Gary Ailes in the Toyota. And Ailes, number 33, is pushing Will Hoy. Palmer waving his hand, he's waving Hoy by, he hit Hoy at Bruxton and now he's making amends and Will Hoy goes up into fifth position and Tim Sugden is out of the race. In the BMW Junior team last year, really impressive this year but sadly not today. With Harvey. He's having another go, he's having another go at Middlehurst, he's going through, he's gone through. Tim Harvey up into third place. Looking back now, you can see Tim Harvey passing Middlehurst up into third position. Building speed all the time, up to 145 miles an hour. In car with Harvey. This is Abby, sixth gear. And if John Clellan's tyres are going off, now is Tim's chance as they come up to bridge. In there, he's going to have a go at Priory. He's going inside. Cleland who closes the door leaves no room for Harvey to get through, or does he? Again, he closes the door up to Luffield, and this is fantastic. Eight cars tight up behind John Cleland in second place. And Andy Rouse must be loving this, it's making his job much easier. He's in the lead. End of the lap. Will Hoy challenging, Will Hoy coming up to take Andy Middlehurst and with it, fourth position. Is he going to get it as they come down to Cots? Indeed he is, he's done it. Will Hoy, boot, no he hasn't. Will Hoy drops back as Middlehurst goes through. We're in, in car with Hoy now. And at Beckett's, it's Rouse. In car with Harvey. Down to Beckett's, down to Chapel, down the hangar straight again. It's front wheel drive Vauxhall versus rear wheel drive BMW and they seem to be perfectly matched. This is the battle for second place. Andy Rouse is clear. Well and weaving again, getting his line for Stowe. But he's drifting wide. He must have lost grip. And Harvey's got the inside line, he's going through. Cleland is right up alongside him and he has to drop back. And we see from Cleland's car, Tim Harvey going up into second place. And Cleland has got massive understeer. And that is a tyre problem. Now, can the others get by? Number five, John Cleland in third position. Andy Middlehurst behind him in fourth place. Will Hoy is still fifth. Abbey again. You can see that Harvey is starting to pull away from Cleland. Now he's got past him. In car with Hoy. He knows the score. He's happy. He's now got a healthy 12 points gap in the championship between himself and John Cleland as they come up to bridge again. John Cleland's running wide. There's his problem again. And through goes Middlehurst up into third position. And Jonathan Palmer is obviously holding back for Will Hoy. 
Palmer now. He doesn't attempt.